Hey guys, Dom here. I've got a bit of a dilemma. I'm supposed to be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how to make this spinning globe, but I've recently gotten into a new hobby and it's so hard to focus on anything else. I actually ordered something related to this new hobby last week and the item just arrived, but I know Josh will tell me off if I didn't get this tutorial done. So how about we get through this? And as a reward for us both, we open the parcel together at the end. We'll start off with method one, which I call the hard way. This is actually the very first thing I ever learned to do in this program. And the best part is you can do it with zero plugins. You'll need a few assets to get you started. I grabbed this 8K Earth map off of Wikimedia, this 8K clouds picture off of pngkey.com, and this 8K Earth by Night photo from the NASA website. First, select your 8K Earth map and use it to create a new composition. Let's call it Earth Map. Drag in the 8K clouds picture and put it on top. Since the clouds is a lower resolution and doesn't fit the size of the Earth map, just right click on the layer, go to Transform and Fit to Comp. Now go to Mode and choose Screen. If you can't see this, you may have to come down here and toggle this switch. Next, drop in your 8K Earth by Night. Again, you'll have to right click on the layer, go to Transform and click Fit to Comp just so the image matches the composition size. If I toggle this on and off, you can see that the images match up perfectly. Let's hide the top layer for now, select the bottom layer, the one with our Earth photo, go up to Effect, Color Correction and add a Hue Saturation effect and then go back to Effect, Color Correction and add a Brightness and Contrast effect. Let's get rid of some of the saturation in this photo. We want to make it blend nicely with the nighttime photo which is quite desaturated. Minus 55 will do. We'll drop the lightness to, let's say, to minus 20. On our brightness and contrast, we'll up the contrast to the 20 mark. Here's the before and after. Next up, let's turn on our nighttime image. With the layer selected, go to Effect, Color Correction, and choose Change to Color. We want these city lights to be pure white. So click this eyedropper, select one of the bright lights, and toggle this to be Hue and Lightness. And you can see the lights are pure white now. Go back to Effect, Color Correction, and now select Color Balance. We want to make this night image less blue and more black. And we can do this by taking blue out of the shadows. Go to Shadow Blue Balance and change it to be negative 20. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking, so let's hide this layer again. Next up, let's make a new composition. Go back to the project window, right click, select new comp, and call it Earth Globe. Let's do a 1080p 25fps preset with square pixels and a 15 second duration. Now go ahead and drag the Earth Map composition right into this Earth Globe one. What we have is just this 2D flat map image, and this is where we turn it into a 3D globe one. Go to Effect, Perspective, and select CC Sphere. Twirl down the CC Sphere settings, if they aren't already, and under Radius, just increase it to get the globe a little bigger. This light setting lets you cast light onto the globe. For this animation though, we're going to remove the light entirely. Set the intensity at 0 and go down to Shading and set Ambient to be about 96. The reason for this is that we're going to actually add the shadow in the Earth map, not here in the globe. Let's add a little rotation into it by going to the start of a composition and hitting the stopwatch toggle next to a rotation Y. Go forward 5 seconds and then choose an endpoint for the rotation. Now let's go to the earth map composition and add in our manual shadow. What we're going to do is we're going to mask in the night part of the earth to match where our earth is spinning. So about halfway through the animation, at the 2.5 second mark, our earth is at this position. So in our earth map composition, turn on the night earth image, select the pen tool by hitting G on the keyboard, or go up here and draw a mask to cover the middle section that we chose. The first point goes up here, then about halfway down and a little over to the right, left click and hold and make a curve like this. And then our final point right here is at the bottom. Finish off the mask by going off the composition workspace and making a full mask like this. If we go over to the earth globe composition, you can see what that's done. To blend it in a bit better, go back to earth map, twirl down the mask settings and change the mask feather to about 1000, just to have a lot of feather, since our original image is quite large. The last step for the mask is setting a keyframe at the start of the animation toggling the mask path stopwatch and then going to the end of the animation, which is the 5 second mark, and setting another keyframe and moving the mask towards the right. If we go back to the earth globe, you can see that our mask is actually revealing day to night onto our globe. We can tweak this by keeping the day to night line in the middle of our rotation by playing with the rotation Y settings. For some extra polishing, drop in your background of choice and play with the brightness and contrast to match the globe. And then let's add a glow around the edge of the earth. Select the earth map layer, go to effect, stylize, 
focus and then glow. When you choose that, you'll see that the glow affects everything in the earth map. Simply go to composite original and change the drop down to be on top. We'll also change the glow threshold down to 15% and you'll see a nice glowing edge. We can further increase the glow radius to 30 and drop the glow intensity to 0.2. You can play with these settings to choose how much glow you want, but I like it to be a bit more subtle and realistic. As a final extra, create a new null object, pairing the earth map and your chosen background to the null by choosing the pick whip option and then choosing the null object. Hit S on your keyboard to bring up the scale properties, set a keyframe at the beginning of the composition, and then at this 5 second mark increase the scale to your liking. This makes a nice little slow zoom effect which goes nicely with the rotating globe to make it dynamic and engaging. Method 1, our very own spinning globe created inside After Effects with not a single plugin. Method 1 is the hard way though. I call this the hard way because it took me a total of 12 and a half minutes to do manually and from scratch. And method two, which is the easy way, well, it's almost too easy. I hop over to Envato Elements, type in Planet Rotating, download the AE template, open it, and boom, your very own spinning, ready to go globe. And that took me a total of 40 seconds. And the best part, you can do this absolutely for free with our seven day free trial, the link of which is in the description. And that's not even the best part. That template that we just downloaded and opened in 40 seconds, it doesn't just have this earth animation. It also has five other planets in it and the moon. And if you were looking for something different, Envato Elements has got you. Like this asset that lets you zoom into specific countries. And if you were looking for a logo reveal with the earth in it, you can check out this one. But enough of all of that. Do you know what time it is? It's time to open this parcel. Let's go. All right, so I've got the item in question. I brought up some scissors as well. I'm gonna put this down and put my camera down so we can have a look and see what's inside. You may have guessed it already when I opened it up, but I got myself a cool sick ass Dune movie poster. Let's go. You guys probably already guessed it. My new hobby is movie poster collecting. And now that I've got this one, I kind of want to get more. So if you guys have any suggestions for cool movie posters, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them out. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around. Stay awesome, stay creative. And as Josh always says. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.